Hello guys, this is Yawcraft here and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make a crop farm with villagers. Yes, another video with villagers. So, let's go. Okay, so let's check out the farm. Okay, this farm is running for more than an hour. I mean, yeah, an hour and few minutes. Let's see okay that's a lot of potatoes almost five stacks I mean if you're just starting a survival world and you have this that's pretty efficient right so let's go to the build okay so actually what you need in this build is just simple some dirt if you're gonna build this on the sky but I don't want to build this up the sky because I'm gonna build this on the ground and some potatoes or any kind of crop, wheat, um, any carrots for me, potatoes, because I like potatoes, they taste so good. And some poppies, uh, any kind of flower. Of course, your hoe, it doesn't need to be diamond hoe, but because I'm in creative, I'm gonna use a diamond hoe, because it's fancy. A composter, a water bucket some oak fences or any kind of fences or you just gonna build a wall of blocks around it so a bed for your villager some villagers some lanterns for your light in case any mobs will spawn there and your crops will continue to grow day and night and for the bees, you're gonna need a beehive of course, and it's spawn bee, I mean bees, yeah, and some rails, some trapdoors, some hoppers, some minecart with hopper, and of course your chest, okay, so first what you need to do is grab yourself a water bucket, dig one hole in the ground, and place the water over there. It's simple as that. What you need to do next is place a composter at the top of the water source. As you can see, the water source is still there. There we go. And let's grab ourselves a beehive and place it just like that. Simple as that. And grab yourself a bed and place it anywhere you want, but as long as it sticks to the center just like this uh, that and what you need to do next is to grab your hoe and till the soil here one two three four one two three four one two three four and two on this side because of this bed and all you need to do is to till all the soil in this perimeter here okay so there you go and what you need to do is grab yourself some flowers and place them like this on the on every corner of this plantation kind of thing um tilled soil I don't know what to call it but just place some flowers on every corner of this thing and all you need to do next is Cover all of this with oak fences. Okay, so there we go. And now what you need to do next is to choose one side. I choose this side and I'm going to break this fence. Then place more fences around like this. And this is where we're going to placing the other villager. He's gonna be the bait. And now, what you need to do next, grab yourself some hoppers and some chest. And then, break these two blocks and two more blocks over here, forming an L kind of thing. And over in this side here, place a double chest, just like that. And a hopper connected to the chest and another hopper connected to the first hopper just like that then grab yourself some trap doors place it over here close it just like that 
then place more trapdoors over here, a trapdoor here, and another trapdoor over there. There we go, we have a magical flying trapdoor, yay! Okay, so next what you need to do is to place another trapdoor here, another trapdoor, another trapdoor over here, and another trapdoor over here. Uh, hello? Okay, there we go. And now break this trapdoor and close that trapdoor, and there we go! We have magical flying trapdoors, yay! Okay, so next what you need to do is to grab yourself some rails and place them like this. And grab yourself some minecart with hopper and place them at the top of the rails, just like that, simple as that. And don't remove the rails or else this minecart uh, will go everywhere. And then grab yourself some lanterns or ugly torches and place them in your build so that no evil mobs will spawn and just kill your villager just like that fill it in with bees yay okay you may be asking me where to get bees if you see bees in the fields you break their beehive then Run away as fast as you can before they sting you and then return to them and grab make sure you have a flower with you so they will follow you. Now bring them in here and then remove the flower in your hand and there you go. They're gonna start collecting some nectar. Okay, that's pretty weird. What are you doing? Okay, so next grab your villagers this this is gonna be so hard if you're in survival but for me I'm gonna use a spawn villager since I'm in creative mode one villager here make sure it's a farmer there we go a farmer and another villager here so if you don't know how to transport these villagers you could use boats or minecarts okay I'm not gonna show that it's villagers so annoying Okay, sorry about that. And grab yourself some potatoes and give them to the villager. There we go. They're going to start planting. And don't expect that you ha you will have the amount of potatoes we got there in the f in your first hour. You should need to wait for a uh, few more Minecraft days so this farm will con will be primed. So what I mean to prime Yes, the farm will look like this. Potatoes will grow very nicely and not as babies. Okay. Okay, so there you have it, the farm. By the way, let's check how many potatoes we've got here. Oh! You did well. Okay, the reason why these things grow ridiculously fast because of the bees you see these pollinated bees these are uh, the bees with uh, spots in them I don't know uh, when they fly they drop something in them and when they hit the p and when those droplets hit the plants they will grow faster okay so please give me an example okay Okay, never mind. So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you in the next video. Please subscribe if you want more tutorials, and goodbye. Yes, goodbye, villager.